Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. This is part four. So if you haven't watched the last three parts, go back and watch them and then come back to here. Also, if you haven't hit subscribe, this is the last video in the series, but there's going to be plenty more videos coming out. So just to make sure that you keep up to date with all that jazz, let's kind of get into it and let's go set up some materials using KitOps. And also I am using the KitOps material library. I just find it easy and that's just the way I work. So what I'm going to use is I'm just going to use KitOps and start applying some materials. I just find that KitOps has some very nice sci-fi-ish materials. Um, I actually haven't updated KitOps for a bit, but let's kind of just go through. I'm just going to slap some materials on it. I do like a plastic mat. Let's just go add material from here. I'm just going to select this. Let's go. Let's come over here into blue. And we might just go into the material settings. Oh, I like that dipple effect. These pieces here, I'm going to make them a metal. So let's come into here, metal. Maybe a dirty steel, add material. What does that look like? Yeah, nice. Uh, with a grate as well. Let's go dirty steel. Definitely behind here, we would need a different piece to make sure it stands out. This here can be a dirty metal as well. Um, this screen here. So I don't feel that that should be a blue plastic. What I'm going to do is duplicate that material. Let's come over into shading. Um, I kind of want it more of a gray color to tell you the truth. Yeah, a bit of a dark gray like so. And then this will allow me to do, Ooh, how's that going to allow me to do it? I don't really want to be applying everything. So this is slightly unfortunate. This is where we have to start applying our materials. I mean, applying our booleans, um, with this piece, I might just quickly go screen. Let's go into a bit of a emission. And then maybe a bit of blue tinge in there. Let's select that face and assign. Let's come into ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections. I think we might actually have to apply all the booleans because I do want that back bit white and definitely these kind of like little pieces in here, these rings, I wouldn't mind them being a metal color as well. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go control S and save that. And we're going to save, let's select our bottom piece here. We should be able to go control shift B apply all. Oh boy. Blender's thinking hard. There we go. Oh, isn't that lovely? Let's do this one. Control shift B apply all. Excellent. And then that means from here, I can select this face, this face in here. Let's add in our new material. This one here, assign. We can do it back here as well. Assign. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think that is definitely the wrong color. Maybe if we went a little bit darker, that's nice. Let's go quickly now and select. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these faces in here. Now we haven't selected everything, obviously, but you'll see what I'm about to do. So we've got them all selected and then we've got these all selected. And then we go control numpad plus to expand our selection. There we go. Let's go to about there. From here, let's add in our metal material and assign. Oh, I dang it, missed two. That one and that one. Yep, I did that one as well. Control numpad. There we go. Assign. That is looking schmick. I feel that I should be doing something up here. Maybe I'll select that. From about there. Let's head back a little bit. There we go. Look at that. That is not too bad. Let's throw in this. 
what I might do is just quickly throw in a area light. A little bit bigger, buddy. Shift D, let's kind of do our three point lighting thing with this. I might just give it a bit of a pink light. Why? Because we can. Oops, grab that. Rotate X, 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 G, Y, Y. So funny enough, the other night I actually had a dream. So contact shadows as well. Just turn them on. I actually had a dream about a yellow background. I don't know why. Really random. Let's go E to extrude along the Z axis. Delete faces. Control shift B. Oops. Control B. Something like so. New. I am going to make a yellow background just for the sake of having it yellow. I don't know why. Weird. <laughs> Anyway, that's me losing the plot ever so slightly. Uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this. So in the images, you see it's a different color. And that's because I came back to it about three days later to kind of like reassess the image. Didn't like it. So I kind of changed it to the current colors. And this is what we have. Anyway, thank you very much for being on this journey, on this tutorial series. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, if you have any suggestions and videos, leave a comment below or jump over on my Discord, send me a message, whatevs. So until next time, thank you very much.